God damn it. Yo, it's Yuji. Welcome back. Um, basically, so 2024 so far is like the worst year for fucking VTuber fans. Because, my God, are we not getting a fucking break, man? Oh, but, hey, keep it coming. Keep keep it coming, alright? I need stuff that distracts me from the the fact I'm in school. And, God, hey, hey, college is rough. Ignore, ignore the pile of laundry. I'm in college. Oh, where do I begin? So, basically, more shit happened. And this time, it's not anything... Uh, God, this sucks. I woke up this morning, and the first thing I see when I open Twitter, and even YouTube... Is that some crazy shit happened, and now one of the few people that I know, or now technically, now all the people I used to watch from the company called Niji Sanji is now either graduated or terminated. And the final frontier was Selen. This, this person right here, fucking wonderful. I mean, I'm sure everyone's seen this iconic clip all over the place. Four, three, two, <laughs> but my god like like man fuck fuck niji sanji i guess because wow they're a bunch of assholes and typical black fucking company oh, i'm gonna try my best to explain what the fuck happened but i highly recommend just going to twitter and i'm sure if you look up selen tutsuki the first thing you'll find is like Niji Sanji's allegations of why they were, had a sudden termination of her, even though there are evil, money grubbing fuckheads. That is right, typical Japanese black company, right? Not even Japanese, I don't even know why I specify Japanese, but they are Japanese, and it's kind of like where, I, where do I begin? Basically, uh, earlier this year, one of the other content creator that I watched from Niji Sanji, Pomu, just recently graduated. And that was a very bittersweet goodbye, but I was happy for her graduation for two things. One, she had plans that she always had and goals that she wanted to achieve outside of YouTube and like content creating, right? So I always respected that because like, God damn it, like that's the whole reason why I started this channel in the first place. Because I had a goal and I had shit to do and that I wanted to do, so I just started doing it. And now we're talking about fucking VTubers again. So, I was like, great. And the second reason was because Niji Sanji fucking sucks. And they're just terrible. They're just a bad fucking company. And so, truth be told, some shit happened with Selen about like back in mid-December, like last time anything like she tweeted out, was just all like, hey guys, like, sorry for the sudden disappearance. I was hospitalized, but I am doing okay. And everyone was like, this is me personally. I was like, what the fuck? Like, holy shit, like, what happened? Right? And no one knows what happened until recently when all this fucking crazy allegations came out. So, supposedly, Selene managed to, like, get her words out there and was able to speak the truth. And the truth is very sad because the whole reason why she was fucking hospitalized is because she was just extremely harassed and bullied and it led to like unforeseen circumstances. She left out the details, thank God, because I don't even want to know what happened to her. Like, oh, I hope she's doing okay. And I'm sure she's doing okay uh, because she's away from that stupid fucking company. Oh, and then like, it's just stupid, like... God damn it, like, Nii Sanji makes no fucking sense. And it's so funny, because one of the main reasons they claimed in her fucking, um, termination, like, reasonings is because, like, she uploaded a music video without the company's permission, and it was not due to copyright or anything like that. And in Japan, I get that, because copyright in Japan, fair use law is very strict. Like, you are going through paperwork just to use a clip of a song in some sort of show. Or, like, you are paying thousands of dollars, right? Or some shit like that. No, 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 no. That was not the issue. Copyright was not the issue. It was simply monetization. That is right. They were very pissed and were so upset at her that she uploaded a video that they would not get money from. And it's all like... What the fuck, man? Like, you could have just been all, like, very calm about it and just been all, like, oh, no, like, 
this is bad. Like, please don't, please don't do that. Like, like we'll take it down, but re-upload in a, like a few minutes, right? Or like on a later date. No, guess what they did? They delete the video and deny all access of her own channel and her own fucking like Twitter and all socials and just like basically shut her behind a lead wall. And it's all like, what the fuck? Like, that's insane. God, I am so tired. Oh, man. But you know what? There was huge justice being served because you know why? Fucking Niji Sanji forgot to ban and cut off the moderators for Selene's channel. So you know what they did? They clutched up like the fucking champs they are. And they hacked into Selene Tatsuki's YouTube channel, right? And then just went went up and posted a video, a live stream, to support Doki Bird. Because this is new Selene. Like, this is her own personal channel. Subscribe. I already subscribed because I gotta support her. Because this is fucking awesome to see that they are giving the final motherfucking finger. And be like, fuck you, Niji Sanji. You're gonna fuck with this person? Well, fuck you then. I just said fucking like seven times in that one sentence. Uh, but that was awesome when I saw that. Like, I was giggling like in class when I was like scrolling through Twitter and shit. I was like, hey, 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 fuck yeah. But yeah, now more crazy shit's happening. But luckily, uh, Doki Bird is now, I think, gonna have like our first stream in like two days to celebrate the Lunar New Year. Which is gonna be awesome. So definitely, I'll I'll be fucking watching that shit because in two days it's either I'm studying for an exam or watching Doki Bird. And honestly, I feel like watching the content creator is gonna be better than studying for an exam. <laughs> oh, but man, like keep it coming. All right, 2024. You ain't you. I know you have another fucking like 11 months ahead of you, man. All right, keep it coming, bitch. You want to drop more bombshells on us with fucking whatever happens? Go for it. I'm going to make some predictions right now. Um, someone in Hollow Live is going to graduate. It's going to be the saddest fucking day of my life. That is 100% what's going to happen. Who? I won't know. But let's find out together. Yeah! It's been Yuji. Thanks for watching.